All right, guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. And obviously, as a gym owner, I get to see a lot of people lifting weights all day long. And it gives me ideas for these videos on uh, ways that can probably help some of you guys. So this has to do with the bench press today. Okay, and this could also apply, I would say, to uh, the squat as well. Okay, same concept on the squat. Uh, but today we're just gonna go over the bench press because it's something I see pretty often. So what we're gonna talk about is basically controlling the eccentric portion of the bench press and not bouncing off our chest. So whenever we're doing any lift, uh, the main thing we're gonna be concerned with is gonna be bar path, okay? If that bar path gets shifted uh, in any way, it's going to potentially compromise the lift or just not make that lift as strong or efficient as it should be. So we wanna make sure that we're ingraining good habits and good bar path to have a nice, successful, smooth lift. So. I'm gonna show you first what this should look like, and then we'll talk about uh, the issue that I'm seeing with the eccentric. So you can get in any setup you want, close grip, whatever grip, doesn't matter. So for me, I'm just gonna take it off the rack. Okay, get set, and I'm coming down, and I'm driving up. I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit just to show you, but in actuality, as long as you're controlling on the way down, right, and then exploding up, you're gonna be in good hands. So, like I said, a little bit of an exaggeration, not so much of a tempo, but just showing that control. And then typically what I'm seeing is that people will control the eccentric about 75%, and then what they do is they just get loose and they try to bounce. So they're coming down under control, and then they just bounce it off their chest which is what we want to avoid. So try to really emphasize that control all the way down. And if you're a powerless, you're gonna have your controlled pause. If you're doing touch and go, that's fine too. But when we do that bounce, okay, and we get loose, we allow room for error or bar shift. All right, so you know it doesn't matter how much weight's on the bar or how light the weight is on the bar, you gotta practice this technique consistently across the board. So if you guys wanna have a really good, efficient bench press, make sure that you're controlling that eccentric Okay, and then you can drive up and explode up. Because like I said earlier, if we have a good eccentric uh, movement pattern, chances are our concentric is gonna be nice as well. Not always the case, but you're in a lot better position to, to have a good lift versus if you don't. So that's something I want you guys to think about and work on, okay? If you watch yourself with your phone or you know, recording yourself and you see that you're bouncing too much or you're getting lazy with that eccentric, practice good reps. Okay, good reps are gonna lead to good lifts. Um, and then. Also, like I said, this applies to the squat as well. So I've done other videos where people basically have a controlled eccentric about 70% of the way, 75%, and then they just drop and just bottom out in the bottom. I see this often with tempo squats as well. When they are doing a tempo, okay, like say it's a three count down, and then towards that last bottom count, they just drop in the bottom and kind of lose all that tension. So just some food for a thought, guys, for you to think about to make yourself a better lifter is, you know, good technique, good form, good habits, good lift. So that's all I really have to say. It's just something that I've noticed uh, when I'm watching videos or people in the gym is they're getting a little bit lazy and not controlling that bar path and they're missing lifts or, you know, they're just getting a little bit sloppy. So tidy it up. And uh, that's all I got for today, guys. So of course, as always, stay Lead Me Strike Machine. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We have tons of ways for you guys to support us. we got the Patreon, Patreon slash that strength. We have our Facebook group, The Iron Lions on Facebook. It's a free group, awesome community. Check that out. We got zashrank.net, articles, programs, swag, all the good stuff there. Uh, we also have HD Muscle, okay, it's our supplement sponsor. So HD Muscle, go check them out if you like supplements. Use code zashrank at checkout and uh, you're gonna save some money. And then we got Coach Matt, he's got a YouTube channel. Uh, he just did an Ironman, absolute freak. So check out Coach Matt's channel and those are our plugs. So we'll catch you guys next time and uh, have a good one. Peace.